So today we're going to be working with fractions and repeating decimals. Now it turns out there's some really interesting patterns when we convert certain fractions into decimals and we can use those patterns to work with repeating decimals. I'll give you an example. When we work with fractions that have 9 in the denominator, take a look what happens. 1 ninth. If I use my calculator, 1 ninth, notice that's 0.1 repeating. And 5 ninths, that's 0.5 repeating. There we go. And 7 ninths, what do you think it is? Well, of course, 0.7 repeating. So it turns out, whenever we have a fraction that the denominator is 9, the decimal equivalent is just the numerator, numerator repeating. All right. So 2 ninths would be 0.2 repeating, right? 4 ninths would be 0.4 repeating. Okay. A similar pattern happens with 90 ninths and 990 ninths. So check it out, 13 90 ninths. If I use my calculator, you can see point 1, 3, 1, 3, 1, 3, 1, 3. Notice, again, the numerator repeats. But this time, because it's 99 as my de uh, denominator, I've got two digits repeating. 58 99ths, same thing happens. We're going to repeat 5, 8, 5, 8, 5, 8. And 7 99ths. Now, this one's a little interesting, but remember, we've got two digits repeating. So when we have a single digit as my numerator, look what ends up repeating. 0, 7, 0, 7, 0, 7. So when you have 90 ninths as your denominator, you've got two repeating digits. And similarly, for three repeating digits, you've got 990 ninths. All right, so 135 over 999. Notice we've got three repeating digits, 0 0.135, 135, 135. 58 90 ninths. Again, we have to have three repeating digits, so what do you think is going to appear? Yeah, 0 058, 0 058, 0 058. So, this is 0 0.058 repeating. And then 7 999ths. Now this time the numerator only has one digit, but remember the denominator is 999, which means there's three repeating digits. So what do you think is going to end up repeating? Well, it has to have three digits, so 007, 007, 007. All right, so the point of this pattern is it really allows you to work with repeating de decimals because if you've got one repeating digit, you know the denominator is 9. If you've got two repeating digits, it's 99. And if you've got three repeating digits, then it's 999. Now, we can use this when we've got the opposite situation. You see, this time I've got just repeating decimals, and if I want to convert these to fractions, I can use the patterns I just got through working with. For example, look here, 0 0.4 repeating. We've got one digit repeating, so that means the denominator is 9, and the one digit that's repeating is a 4, so that's my numerator. So the fraction equivalent, fraction equivalent of this decimal is 4 ninths. And if you're not sure, use your calculator, and you can see 0.4 repeating. Now, 0.71 repeating. This time I've got two digits repeating, so I know that the denominator is going to be 99. What are the two digits repeating? A 7 and a 1? So that must be my numerator. Not sure? Let's check. 71 over 99? 0.71, 71, 71. There you go. And then over here, 0.289 repeating. This time we've got three digits repeating. So that means my uh, denominator is 999. Now what are the three digits repeating? The 2, 8, and the 9? So that's my numerator. And just to check to make sure, 289 over 999, 289, 289, 289. You see? Now, we can also apply this to slightly harder ones, because look at here. We've got 2.8 repeating with just the 8's repeating. The 2 is a whole number. Now, the funny thing about this is, it's not that much harder than these. 
because 0.8 repeating, we know there's one digit repeating, so it's ninths. The numerator has to be the repeating digit, which is eight, so eight ninths. That's the 0.8 repeating. But this is 2.8 repeating, so that's two whole and eight repeating. So this would be two whole and eight ninths. There you go. Similarly over here, we've got two digits repeating. 99 is my denominator. The digits are repeating are 02, so that means that my numerator is two. And then the whole number, one, is just the whole number in front of the fraction. See, so when you've got these whole numbers with repeating decimals, they just end up being mixed numbers with a whole number and a fraction. Last one, 5.085 with the 085 repeating. So three digits are repeating. So 999 is my denominator. The 085 are the digits repeating, so the 85 goes on top as my numerator. And then the whole number is five, so I'm just gonna stick that in front of my fraction. There you go. All right, so that's how you work with repeating decimals and fractions. You see, if you just know the simple pattern, you can apply it and use it to convert between the two. All right, so hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button. Also subscribe because it really helps us out. But with that being said, good luck on your math, and I will see you next time.